Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Room for Discussion. Last week, we had a chance to talk to AD Unit Commander, Yehor Sobolev, about topics such as war modernization, role of drones, as well as Ukrainian resi resilience. Today, we are happy to announce our second interview in our special series of interviews with Ukrainians about the war in Ukraine, the fight for freedom. Our guest, once a doctor and advisor to the Minister of Health in Ukraine, is currently undergoing rehabilitation after two years of intensive fighting. He's now the company commander of the Honor Group. Please note that this is an online interview and there's a possibility that the connection might fall away or that Alexander might uh, have an urgent call and he might have to leave, so keep this in mind. Without further ado, please give a welcome applause to Alexander Yabchanka. Hello, Alexander. Can you hear us well? Hello, my friends. Yes, nice to meet you. Very well. Uh, well, first of all, welcome to Room for Discussion. Thank you very much for joining us today. To start off the interview, I would like to ask you, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing much better like uh, seven months ago when I was in India. Now I can run, and uh, not 10 kilometers, but 3 kilometers I can. Okay, and where are you? Uh, where are you at the moment? Which city? Oh, now, now, now I'm uh, in Lviv. Uh, I'm in a uh, wonderful procedure. It's a procedure about uh, a paper. Uh, this paper can give me a possibility to uh, come back to frontline. Uh, and this way, uh, this way, uh, difficult procedure, but it's necessary. And now I am in uh, uh, medical building and uh, I do something with my paper and I try to uh, explain doctors uh, about I want to come back. Uh, doctors uh, surprise because uh, because uh, I don't like uh, what, but I need to come back. Okay. Okay. So, Alexander, it is incredible to see how much your life has changed in the last 10 years. And on the slide we see a picture of Alexander Yapchanka, uh, a doctor at the time, uh, and a bit younger than yourself at the moment, however still with the same smile. If you had the opportunity to talk to the, pic to the person in this picture and tell him about the struggles of Ukraine at the moment, would he believe you? Uh, you ask about uh, my uh, life before the uh, war? Yes, if, yes, if you uh, yes, before. Um, yeah, because uh, I heard uh, not very well. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe yeah. to rephrase yes. it. Maybe to rephrase it. If you could have a conversation because, with because yourself. I can, I can see pictures. And, uh, I, I, will, I will explain it to you. So we have a picture of you on the screen, uh, you as a doctor smiling. Um, if you could have a conversation with your younger self when you were a doctor, would you believe what is going on in Ukraine at this moment? Uh, at this moment? Uh, at this moment, uh, I'm a soldier, I'm not a doctor, I'm a doctor to be a patient. Uh, I was a doctor of pediatrician uh, many uh, years uh, ago, uh, before uh, Maidan, before, uh, before revolution. Uh, and uh, I like my uh, work, uh, like a doctor, uh, but uh, after uh, I must do something else. Uh, if I want to uh, live in a democracy country, and uh, this uh, way starts uh, after 2030 uh, in the revolution of the dignity, 
I think we might have connection issues. And yeah, so, yes, we can eat. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't want to live in a uh, country like Russia. And uh, it's first uh, cause and the next cause. I understand if uh, after beaten students. Maybe you remember uh, uh, Maidan starts like a Yevra Maidan, yeah. but after uh, Yanukovych beaten uh, students, uh, it was uh, Maidan stay uh, revolution of dignity because it's uh, it's very bad situation if your president told the police beat these guys because I am not agree what these guys speak about me. It's yeah. not about democracy country. And uh, I understand uh, if now I am a doctor and I am not going to Maidan. Uh, I will be doctor in totalitarian country. I don't want to be doctor in totalitarian country. And just to look back on that time, you mentioned the police brutality, but also on pictures we can see that there were so many Ukrainians, so many Ukrainians willing to sacrifice their lives. How was the atmosphere? How do you remember? Fantastic. It's a fantastic atmosphere because it's many uh, people and it's uh, different people. It's people for town, people for village. It's uh, doctors, architectors, uh, soldier, <laughs> policemen too, <laughs> but not in the form. But it was the uh, uh, different, different people. Different people want to change, and we made it. We, we, we made it. Mm -hmm. And things also changed for you after Maidan, because in 2017 you became advisor to the Minister of Health. Was this a way for you to continue this fight that you started at Maidan? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, 
it, it's normal uh, in my mind. Why? Uh, because uh, if you want to change something, um, if you go into to Maidan, if you uh, fr throw up uh, pre bad president, it's not enough. Because uh, after you can build, you can build uh, <laughs> decision your country in your head, in your hand. Uh, and uh, um, why? Because uh, when was a uh, revolution, uh, Pomeranchevo revolution, it's uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, 2004. Uh, we change uh, president, uh, but uh, we not change country. And uh, it's because uh, after revolution of dignity, I stay in Kiev. Uh, and uh, I understand if you want, uh, if, if you want to do something you can do uh, you you can do it uh, if you want something you can do it uh, and uh, um, because i was a doctor uh, guys uh, to my done it's activists it's activists it's not uh, experts but it's activists can uh, can build structure uh, to uh, experts, and these experts uh, can give decision our uh, our problem, uh, not decision uh, change our problem. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, uh, me, like a doctor and like an activist, uh, was a manager of group uh, health care reform. And uh, uh, when uh, Minister of Health um, stay Ulana Suprum, <laughs> it's activist too, uh, she uh, invite us to the ministry. And uh, uh, it's because I stay uh, 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 speaks person, Minister of Health. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, I study uh, management in, uh, in system uh, in healthcare reform, in healthcare. And uh, uh, this because uh, I uh, made a reform with my friends, activists, with my dad, and many, many people going to reform in other uh, way. It's uh, anti-corruption, it's uh, reform of justice, etc., etc. And now we have different country. It's really. It's uh, if we uh, if we uh, think uh, about uh, the past. country of Yanukovych, yes, past. Uh, now it's different country. Really, it's uh, a new anti-corruption uh, structure, and this anti-corruption structure can uh, do something. Uh, for big uh, big boss in time Yanukovych <laughs> it's impossible situation absolutely impossible and in medicine, medicine too now we have new medicine not like in time Yanukovych uh, okay but you know uh, I think we can all agree that uh, from 2014 Ukraine was on a clear path to success, to good democracy. As you mentioned, a lot of people from revolution who were very motivated entered the parliament, entered different ministries, and were down for the change. However, it wasn't that easy, right? Because on 24th of February 2014, 
uh, Russia launched a full-scale invasion targeting the Ukraine's capital, Kyiv. And as you already mentioned, you were a person in a suit, you were a doctor, yet uh, you decide to pick up a gun and join defense of Kyiv. Why did you do that? How, how was that decision for you? Uh, because I understand I have no uh, choice. And uh, I understand we have no uh, choice. Because I understand Russia going, uh, Russia comes, uh, destroyed our country. Destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Uh, and the, for me, uh, I have uh, mm, if not for me, for, for, for me, uh, live uh, for me, be uh, slave, it's uh, it's not my story, uh, but uh, in all people. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we we have uh, uh, we have choice <laughs> if uh, you are dead or you are slain, uh, and uh, I um, after I look it in occupied territory. Okay. They killed civilian because this civilian uh, it's Ukrainian. The civilian, uh, it's not a uh, soldier. It's not a uh, Ukrainian soldier. It's civilian. And uh, I understand it when uh, invasion, invasion uh, begins. And this is because uh, I understand if you want to kill me, I try to kill you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for you, you're basically saying the choice was very simple. Become a slave on the totalitarian regime like Russia or fight for your freedom. And you say you almost had no choice. You needed to pick up a gun and protect your country and freedom. Did you expect to survive the first week of the invasion? The odds seem to be stacked against Ukraine. Did you think you would make it out? Yeah. Uh, repeat uh, the kinchina. Uh -huh. Do you think you you would survive the first week of the war? Mm, second, uh, ah, uh, thinking about uh, survive myself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look, it's, now I remember my uh, thinking. It's not very uh, good thinking. Guys, think about. Uh, we have uh, we have no many chance, and uh, we died uh, in uh, we die in our capital. We die like heroes, and uh, after I hope we uh, about us writing in uh, books uh, uh, Ukrainian history. And these heroes try to stop Russians. And it's what I think because uh, really I was uh, surprised about we uh, we, we stop Russian. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it was fantastic, really. Mm -hmm. It was it wasn't. Medical, maybe. Yes, and we have a slide where we can see you are in Kiev defending the city. Um, you are defending the city with a group go called the Gona Group. Can you maybe tell us uh, who the Gona Group is uh, and what they do? Yep. Gona Group. Can you maybe tell Gona us? Group. Yes. Can you tell us who they? Ah. Are? Uh, okay, Honor, uh, Honor Group, it was a group uh, of uh, activists. It was like me in Maidan, but go, uh, Honor, uh, um, you know, um, these groups uh, try to change, uh, like me, I try to uh, change uh, medicine, 
Gonor group try change uh, um, injustice. Do you understand? Yeah. If if uh, yeah. you want uh, to have uh, justice in your, your country, but uh, uh, bad police, bad uh, justice, and uh, it's because you push, push, push your uh, your parliament, your president, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, Gonor was uh, very very strong group it was uh, it was my friend uh, and uh, friends uh, and uh, before uh, big war um, we uh, agree about if it's happened i will be a doctor to honor and it's happened uh, and my first uh, my, my first uh, uh task uh, my first uh, profession in war it was uh, doctor uh, not pediatrician but yeah hello yeah, hello. yeah we can yeah. hear you yeah. mm -hmm. so following the timeline after the defense of kiev after uh ukrainian forces uh you know pushed back Russians from Kyiv. They, uh, they went to other fronts in Ukraine. We know that in May 2022, the Gona group, of whom you were uh, part of, they joined uh, Da Vinci Wolf's batan battalion, continuing the fight yeah. on other fronts. Yeah. And could you perhaps tell us who Da Vinci Wolves are? And uh, on our slides, we also have Da Vinci himself, Dmitro Kutsubaila. Perhaps you can introduce him to the audience too. Mm. So um, we uh, together with uh, Badalian uh, of Da Vinci, uh, we uh, go to east. It's uh, Donetsk, Lugansk region. And the uh, uh, funny story about uh, me, like a doctor in war, because uh, a medical uh, medical company uh, uh, to Da Vinci. Da Vinci have uh, some uh, medical company. It's fantastic medical company. And when I uh, go uh, to Da Vinci uh, battalion, I understand like a medic. Uh, I uh, can do something better like this company. And uh, I start uh, discover. Uh, I uh, start uh, looking for uh, how can I uh, help uh, my uh, company. And uh, uh, it's because uh, I stay um, operator of drone, uh, and it's my uh, first. Uh, it's my first competition in this uh, war, and uh, you know, uh, it's uh, fantastic. Uh, it, it, it's fantastic uh, people because it's a volunteer. It's a volunteer battalion. And uh, uh, this uh, guys and the girls uh, going uh, to war uh, because uh, they understand I must go. I must go. Not because uh, your country uh, do mobilization and you go. It's normal. But these, these people going uh, like a volunteers and uh, uh, it's because um, we uh, very respect each other and uh, da vinci da vinci was hero hero like a, a medal yeah yeah uh, but da vinci was uh, its commander of battalion uh, da Vinci was very 
with us, Da Vinci tell like me tell with you. It's not be big boss. It's so our prime. Same level our you. yes, 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 and uh, mm, it's first about Da Vinci. Next about Da Vinci. Da Vinci uh, go, go uh, with us uh, to dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, work, dangerous uh, fighting, uh, and. Uh, uh, it's because if commander stay with battalion, uh, in battalion we have main uh, shift uh, We have uh, uh, lower casualties. Yes, yes, but uh, it's uh, risk uh, for uh, commander and. Uh, it's because uh, Da Vinci stay with us and Da Vinci died. And uh, my following question would be, what does it take to be part of Da Vinci Wolves? Because as you said, uh, a lot of them are volunteers. Does it take special training to, be part, to become part of Da Vinci Wolves? Uh, about training? No, to join Da Vinci Wolves, to, to become a... Ah, how to join, how to, how to join. Okay, uh, you uh, must be ready to fight. It's, uh, it's first. Next, uh, we show you uh, how, we help you how, but you, uh, you, can, you can have, uh, uh, you can be uh, ready ready to fight, ready for war. Uh, but you can be ready uh, for war uh, with uh, uh, professional, with professional, and uh, we have uh, uh, we, we have uh, uh, small commander, yeah. and uh, we have big experience. We have big experience, and we have many uh, things uh, to war. It's uh, Zasobe. It's uh, new weapon. It's yeah. uh, uh, cop copters. It's FPV drones. It's mm -hmm. robots. Now we have robots. Not many, but it's now. <laughs> After, I hope, robots, we will have uh, more and more and more. Uh, and uh, uh, first, you uh, can uh, want to fight. You can be ready. And after, we help. Okay. Okay. So you just need a strong will to, uh, to, to join and to fight. Um, let's go to the audience questions. Does anyone have an audience question? So I'll see a hand over there. Uh, please keep in mind to keep the questions short and respectful. Did you ever think of joining the fight as a doctor rather than somebody on the front line? So have you ever considered joining the fight uh, and as a doctor and not as a soldier? So your uh, will be a doctor instead of a soldier. Have you ever considered that? Uh, can I, what? Sorry, I'll be. Uh, I'll talk a bit slower. I know the accent sometimes <laughs> is a bit strong. Sorry. Um, so you've decided to pick up a gun and fight as a soldier, you know, in the trenches yes. in Bakhmut. Have you ever considered yes. uh, being a doctor on the battlefield? Not a soldier, but just a doctor. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, like soldier and doctor. Uh, look, if I am a doctor, I can help myself. I can help my friend, and it's happened more. Uh, it's it's happened in in my life uh, many times. I'm a doctor. Uh, it's it's not about uh, if I am uh, uh, I am a soldier. Now I am a commander of uh, first uh, commander of platoon. Uh, now I'm a commander of uh, 
commander of company, I'm not a doctor. No, 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 it's your uh, basic, uh, <laughs> in this war, it's my basic uh, skills, uh, but uh, all my uh, guys uh, can be just a little doctor. <laughs> and, uh, because yeah. it's very, very important uh, help yourself because uh, if injured happen, uh, sometimes you're alone and your friends uh, maybe five meters with you, but this five, me five meters you can go because uh, it's a war. And uh, uh, if you uh, if you are just a little doctor, you can help yourself, and you can help your friends if if your friends uh, need it. So you can be very impactful. Um, are there any more audience questions? If not, we'll continue. Yes. So let's move towards close combat. Um, after the Kherson counteroffensive in late August, uh, Ukrainian troops launched another counteroffensive towards uh, the, the Kharkiv region in September. Um, how did it feel taking back Kharkiv, taking back Ukrainian land, liberating those people? Oh, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, maybe... Uh, uh, it was a wonderful moment in my life uh, because uh, um, it's uh, uh, civilian people, it's uh, ch children uh, tell us how long, how long we wait in here. It's a fantastic moment, really cool. <laughs> And this is because we must deoccupate other territory. It's, it's must. Be. I see that you get emotional talking about uh, Kharkiv when you liberated it. Is it a very uh, sensitive to you? Very emotional talking about this? Yeah, I talked about this. Uh, Kharkiv uh, it's, was very emotional uh, because first, uh, people waiting here. Civilian people waiting here because uh, Russians made terrible thing, really. Uh, and uh, these people uh, believe be believe us. These people uh, waiting and thinking about uh, where, where are you? Where, where, where are you? Our army. Uh, and uh, next, uh, it's of course when your enemy uh, running and running first. It's uh, it's uh, I like this feeling when your enemy uh, leaves go the up. Field. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you mentioned how uh, well it was nice that people welcomed you. It was very touching. You also mentioned that there was a lot of horror because uh, when the Russians were leaving, they left a lot of uh, evidence of war crimes behind them. Uh, yeah. How we, was that, yeah. uh, you know, just a human being in 21st century having to face these, uh, these things? How was that for you? Um... For me, uh, you ask about uh, pictures of uh, Russians, uh, Russians crime, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Because you saw uh, it yourself uh, in first person. Um, it, it's uh, uh, it's it's because I uh, tell you, uh, we now have a choice, really, because uh, this. Uh, because uh, you know, uh, I uh, I think sometimes why 
why these people uh, uh, early why these people did it why why Russians did it and I think uh, maybe because uh, they are slaves they're slaves and when slaves uh, to be king because uh, his uh, um, his power uh, his power when he's occupied some territory his uh, 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 power in this uh, territory and uh, they uh, made terrible things maybe because he is uh, uh, they in, uh, in 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 this country in Russia these slaves and when slaves uh, uh, to, to begin when when slaves uh, start to be king he do terrible things maybe this is because uh, Russians do this uh, terrible uh, when we uh, look uh, at the picture yeah and uh, after Ukraine's Kharkiv and Kherson counteroffensives in late 2022, uh, Bakhmut Front became a major battleground, regarded as one of the bloodiest battles since the end of uh, World War. Uh, you know, with extra troops from Kherson Front and new Russian recruits just focusing on that city, leading to uh, horrific uh, high casualty rates. And you mentioned how they treated uh, Ukrainians when they invaded Ukraine, what horrors they left, how they, what they did to them, but the same they did to their own soldiers, you know, with this uh, Myasorubka meat grinder tactic, when mm -hmm. just many, many, many soldiers were sent and killed because of, uh, because of how they did it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a tactic. It's Russian tactic. It's Russian tactic. Uh, why? Uh, in a yeah. war, uh, war, war in World War Two, Russians made it too. It's uh, they uh, throw up. Um, many the uh, groups of Russians going uh, to uh, other position. I stay in position. We destroyed group, and next group going for this uh, uh, for this way for, for uh, this way like. Uh, uh, group uh, like a first group, yeah. and uh, uh, and uh, sometimes we have ten attack for day, and uh, uh, one attack it's uh, ten people. So you can imagine they. Uh, going, uh, it's like a zombie apocalypse. It, it, it's like in film. Um, um, but, but, uh, if we go, 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 uh, they occupied some uh, legal forest, yeah, mm -hmm. some our position. And they go and go and go and came this because uh, we died too. We died too because uh, these guys with uh, gun and you can kill many, but one of them kill you. Yeah. So the Russian tactic is to just storm the position wave after wave after, wa after wave, just sending Russian troops. Um, we actually have footage of you fighting in uh, Bakhmut, and we will show the footage on the screen. Uh, you will know the mm -hmm. footage is with you and Tichy. Uh, there is a trigger warning, however, that this is actual fighting, and there will be shooting, and you know you do see people on the screen experiencing things that is not very nice.
So please be aware of watching, uh, watching this. We will now show the video. Yeah. Oi, oi. Что тут, пацаны? Кто это? Господи. Там еще один походу, блядь. Загинул. Да, братко. На войне бывает само так. Леха, ты як? Леха! Ну а быстрее бомба, да там не Пацаны, слева пидор, слева пидор, один по право обходит. Ебаш, ебаш. Контроль правой траншеи, видишь, ебаш. Давай, прыгай, прыгай, в ту яму, смотри траншею, в ту яму. Берегите ПК правый фланг, держим плавую траншею. Спокойно, круговая, прямо почти никого, не стреляйте. Да. Давай, брат. Водос, оставь обчалку на 12 и все траншеи контролем. Беги, скажи пацанам, я обчалка на 12. Все остальные траншею контролем. Шо, пидоры, сука, это на... Это наша посадка, пидорасы, блядь! So, um, that was quite the video. Truly um, war on earth, I would say. What do you feel when watching this video, thinking back about it, back about it seeing how gruesome it is? What do you feel? I just... Uh do my uh, work. I was calm. Uh, I was concentrated. I was... Uh, I, I know about my friends uh, made uh, his, uh, his, his work. Uh, of course, uh, it's uh, expressive. Uh, Tihi was very expressive, but Tihi was uh, very professional, uh, and uh, it was a very uh, important role. Yeah, in the this video. Road, road to Bakhmut, yeah, and uh, we uh, can't uh, lose this position because it was dangerous for uh, all Bakhmut, uh, all our forces in Bakhmut. And uh, I feel, uh, <laughs> I was scared after. 
when I go home, uh, when I look to my camera, uh, this explosion and uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's grenade. You're not scared about grenade. You do what can you do in this situation. And you speak grenade, sit down. Uh, Pull the trigger. And the fire. It's like a work. Uh, and after you feel, uh, <laughs> you feel scared. So, yeah. Yeah. And this video, uh, it is composed of uh, two GoPro shots. One from your camera and one from uh, Tehi's camera. Uh, he's very active during the fight. He uh, moves quickly. Seems to know exactly what to do. Uh, you know, watching him, you can tell tell that he plays a big role in this battle. Uh, you already mentioned uh, him, but could you maybe tell us uh, who this person was to you? Uh, who Tehi? We was friends, of course. In honor, uh, in honor, uh, we was uh, friends uh, before uh, before uh, big war, before uh, big, uh, um, and uh, after these guys not uh, be soldier. These guys, uh, it's activists. And uh, it's very, you know, uh, for me, Tiki, it's like Achilles. Uh, Achilles. It's like Achilles. He, uh, he was uh, uh, very brave. He was uh, very professional. And, but he was uh, very um, scrumny. Shy. Yes, yes, uh, and uh, it's because uh, com uh, I command this uh, this fight, not Tihi, but Tihi was the uh, first uh, person in this uh, in this fight because uh, Tihi uh, was the commander in this fight, and Tihi was uh, it's like a former. He uh, made some uh, some movement and killed uh, three Russians to our uh, left side, and uh, it uh, save us, save us this uh, multi. And why is it why is it important to talk about people like Tiki who are no longer with us? Why it's important what? To talk about people like Tihi. Because this legend, it is legend like Da Vinci, like other guys who was very brave, very, uh, very clear, uh, very simple. I, you know, it was very good people. It's wonderful people, and this wonderful people uh, going uh, def de defend uh, uh, his country like a volunteer. Uh, and uh, this legend, uh, and uh, I hope in uh, books uh, to history of Ukraine. Tiki and Da Vinci and Norman, Norman died in this uh, fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, moving to something different, uh, combat injuries are part of war, and we have on the screen a picture of you being injured on three different occasions. And what really stands out to us is that you smile in all the pictures. <laughs> How were you able to never lose the smile? Because uh, if uh, because it's about look to situation, uh, one look, yeah, it's uh, I have uh, injured, 
it's bad news, but I am alive. <laughs> I stay alive. It's good news. And really, situation when I was uh, injured, uh, injured uh, it's uh, it's bad situation. Really, I can I can die in this situation, and uh, I stay alive. Oh, fantastic uh, news! Uh, I, I have some pain, but uh, I am alive, uh, and my friends alive. Uh, it's because uh, I'm smile. It's first uh, cause, uh, next cause. Uh, <laughs> my friends uh, tell me uh, you're optimistic. You're optimistic, and it's very important for us. If it's important for uh, my friends, uh, I can uh, do it. Because uh, because it's it's important, yes, uh, and uh, um, maybe it's it. <laughs> uh huh. So you've been injured three times, um, always with a smile. Um, would you say that you are just very lucky uh, that you're still alive and with us, or is there some skill, or did you get lucky? Uh, I think I'm lucky, absolutely. Uh, but if you want to be lucky, you can be ready because uh, war is a serious uh, story. If uh, you uh, made uh, fault, it can be uh, it's you can be dead uh, and. Uh, this because uh, we prefer every time we all uh, if uh, we fight or we prefer to fight it's in our battalion and this is because it's like a sport it's like boxing if you don't if you don't want to be in the cloud you can you must boxing it's uh, like uh, in, in war, but it's more dangerous. Uh, and when you're ready, uh, chance to be lucky, it's uh, high chance <laughs> to be lucky, high chance to be lucky. Yeah, so preparation surely adds your uh, odds of survival. Uh, after your injuries uh, for the treatment of them, you went uh, to rehabilitation center in Lviv called Unbroken. Uh, could you tell us what Unbroken is and what has it done for you? Unbroken, it's uh, my, uh, it's my uh, possibility, mostly it's possibility. Yeah? Yeah. It's my possibility uh, come back to my work come back to war. Uh, what I mean, uh, first, I don't like war. I don't like kill people, but, but I not have a choice in this situation. And if I have injured, uh, I must uh, come back. I understand. Uh, and I need do something for do it. Yes, do you understand? It's yeah. first, but next it's possibility. Uh, I can't do it in my home B because uh, in my home I don't have uh, no uh, trainers. Uh, trainers, yes, uh, I don't have uh, my doctor rehabilitator. I don't have nothing because it's my home. Yes, uh, but, but uh, we have uh, unbroken. It's a big center. It's a big center, and in un unbroken we have uh, all uh, for uh, your rehabilitation, and uh, I have personality doctor of rehabilitation. Uh, no doctor, it's specialist, uh, specialist of uh, rehabilitation, and this is because 
my program uh, to be preferred to eight eight months. I uh, did it program to four months. Okay. And now and now my paper when I am uh, I'm ready to come back in this because uh, we have unbroken. Okay. So during this period when you're rehabilitating, you still remain highly active. You've accepted the role of company commander of Hono, uh, and you're also recruiting people, as we've mentioned throughout the interview. But we also see that you've been injured three different times. War is not fun, and you still keep coming back. Has there ever come across your mind an idea of maybe I should stop and not go back to the front line and maybe play a more active role somewhere else? Um, if now I'm uh, going uh, to different uh, town uh, and I invite people to my uh, company and uh, I uh, tell them uh, uh, I am a commander we can uh, meet with you uh, we can speak with you uh, and uh, you uh, can understand uh, what uh, your commander <laughs> it is here uh, and uh, if uh, I, I want to be uh, like uh, Commander uh, Da Vinci. I want to be like a Commander of Filia, its new commander of battalion. It's yeah. commander who uh, tells uh, the people who, uh, who invite people because we are volunteers. Volunteers, it's you understand i need you understand I, I i must go and you go it's because i'm going to, and this because my injuries uh, in past <laughs> and okay. uh, so yeah to conclude this interview uh our final question would be what final message would you like to leave with our audience here today in Amsterdam? Thank you. Thank you very much. Look, it's very important to understand you are not alone. And uh, uh, we have democracy countries and we can win in this war against totalitarian wall. And thank you very much for your help and uh, for your support. Thank you, Alexander. And Slava Ukraine. Thank you. Heroin Slava. Yeah.